Let's fire it up and begin our experiment! We're ready to go! Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is, so pay close attention. Not to look as jade! Uh, Hilly trolls are surrounding us again! Were they attracted by the light? Such nosy neighbors! Let's take care of them and continue with their act! Protect us. Wind blade. <laughs> Adventure. my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Exactly! That's the one Paimon remembers too! No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done! All the same, uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus Jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Parting? Oh, dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... this means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. 
It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good honest merchants such as yourself, I, for one, believe that Liyue will continue to prosper, as it always has done. All right. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute! He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. Any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. It's fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though, to be honest, it'd be alright even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Yujing Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single mora. Hmm, it seems that we must. I will keep that in mind. Thanks, both of you. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the jewelsmith's remuneration... Guess we 
can't do anything else. Also, is this why we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location and have begun making preparations for the rite. That's right. The Liu e Qixing have acquiesced to using the same location. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayun Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. I wonder what that's about. Also, the... uh... Rick's Lapis Vessel. Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, oh, right! That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the Chasing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liu, which is to say the only mint in Tevat. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Wow! Oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liu, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I, for one, have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant, and is especially suited for solemn events, like giving offerings to gods and adepti. It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again! <laughs> we shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients.
One client, two clients, three clients. 